Here's what four square metres looks like. It's the space that each diner, or cover as we're called, has to be allocated in cafes and restaurants in Victoria and New South Wales and large ones in Queensland. It's called the one for four rule and it's imposed by state governments to ensure that there's safe distancing. Now the typical CBD restaurant rent in Melbourne is about $3,000 per square metre per annum and it's a bit more in Sydney but let's go with Melbourne since that's where we are. Times four is $12,000. So that's the rent for my four square metre space. What do I have to eat to pay the rent? Now most places can do three sittings a day, that's lunch and two dinners, six days a week, which adds up to 900 sittings per year. Divide that into $12,000 and you get $13 per sitting, which sounds okay, but with profit margins falling over the past few years, most restaurants don't have much left for rent after paying for the food and the drink, wages, electricity and all the other costs. And it works out to be that they need about $300 in gross revenue to end up with $13 in rent. That's $300 per person per city, don't forget. Now in Australia's six three hat restaurants, it's easy to spend that sort of money. But here in this place, it's 10 burgers, plus chips, plus a beer, and a coffee to wash it down. And even for me, that's not gonna happen. At the fairly posh Chinese place downstairs, it's four solid meals per person per sitting. In other states where it's two square metres per person, it's still $150 per sitting per person. That's why employment in cafes and restaurants is down 37%, and why the places that are still open are being propped up by JobKeeper and or Takeaway, or they're owned by an optimist with plenty of savings. According to ABS data, 930,000 people were employed in accommodation and food service before the pandemic about 7% of the workforce in about 150,000 establishments. Estimates of how many of them will close permanently if the four square metre rule keeps going range from 10 to 25%, or some 37,000 places and 230,000 jobs. It certainly won't be none. If there isn't a vaccine soon, the cost of this new tyranny of distance could end up being very high.